I'm Rod Brown along with Coach Gus Malzahn here on Tiger Talk. It's time now for our AL.com questions of the week. First one uh, comes from Rise Up and Play and kind of goes back to what we were talking about, uh, uh, your relation with Coach Freeze. Says, Coach, how much of an advantage or maybe even a distraction is it for you when you face off against a, a close friend like this on the other side? Well, you know, we had the opportunity last year to do that. And, uh, you know, we uh, – you just – once the game starts, mm-hmm. you got to do your job. He's got a job. i got a job. And then afterwards we'll shake hands yeah. and it'll be over. Uh, so, uh, but, you know, he's a professional guy and that's just the way you look at it. Second question uh, comes from a translation. says, does having early success at Auburn – make it more difficult to manage people's expectations for the present and the future of the program? Well, you know, you know, Auburn's a, a program. We have high expectations. I mean, um, you know, we, we want to win championships here, mm-hmm. and, and we're still building this thing. Yep. And uh, last year we almost got it done. This year we've done some very good things. Uh, we're still building this thing. It's going in the right direction. Mm-hmm. And uh, But I, personally, I like the expectations, and uh, I think our players do. I know our coaches do. Have a question for Coach, just go to al.com slash Tiger Talk and submit your question each week, and uh, it could be asked live on the show. Visit al.com slash Tiger Talk today. We've got a question from Twitter. K.L. Harrelson asks, have you ever wanted to come out uh, and do like Coach Spurrier did and just go for it and never punt? And I asked you during the break, has that ever happened? Have you ever had a game? And you said, yes, you have. Talk about that. Yeah, uh, back in my high school days, way back when, uh, I believe Rhett Lashley was my quarterback sophomore year in the playoffs. Um, we got down 38-14, to 14, uh, I believe, in the first quarter. Mm-hmm. And so we had to go for it every time. We never punted. We <laughs> onside kicked every time. And we found a way to win 70-64 to 64 in a non-overtime game. So that's probably the closest I can remember anything like that. Coach Lashley must have had a pretty good game that night. Yeah, he, play, he played pretty good. Uh, <laughs> he, could, he could throw it pretty well. <laughs> Ole Miss uh, this weekend in Oxford. Uh, let's kind of get into them quickly before we get you out of here. And, and, and when you look at this Ole Miss team, what are their strengths? Uh, obviously, you start with the defense, Coach. Yeah, their defense. They're extremely fast. Uh, I'm very impressed with them with their overall team speed. I think they're very good up front. Um, you know, I think they've only given up seven touchdowns in eight mm-hmm. games, which is unbelievable. Yeah. So uh, we got our work cut out for us offensively and deep and uh, offensively for Ole Miss. Bo Wallace yeah. uh, is is a passionate, aggressive kind of quarterback. Uh, and has experience. Talk about the challenges he and that offense brings. Well, to you're exactly right. He's got experience, mm-hmm. and, and he can throw the football. He's a veteran guy. He's got big, tall, fast receivers, and uh, you know they really put a lot of pressure on defenses vertically down the field. What are the keys for uh, for your bunch Saturday night over there, coach? Well, you know I think offensively we can't turn the football over. Mm-hmm. I mean they've done a great job of getting turnovers. As a matter of fact, they've scored a lot of touchdowns on turnovers. So I think that's big and. Then defensively, just keeping away from the big play. Coach, appreciate it. We're going to let you get out of here a little early tonight and uh, get to work on uh, on Ole Miss. We'll appreciate it. And uh, see you on Saturday. All right, War Eagle. All right, War Eagle. Coach Gus Malzahn in studio with us. Hey, by the way, uh, it's going to be a little chilly uh, over in Oxford. The game day weather forecast is brought to you by Barron. It'll be a cool evening for football. Temperatures around 60 at uh, kickoff, then falling into the mid to low 50s in the second half, maybe even into the 40s. Winds will be out of the northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour, mostly clear skies. To get hour-by-hour weather information and alerts for your location, download the Barron Alabama Safety Net app for your iPhone or Android device. War Eagle from Barron. When we come back, we'll talk a little baseball. We had a chance to sit down with head coach Sonny Galloway, talk a little bit about fall practice. That's on the way next here on Tiger Talk.